<laughs> Hiller, hee <laughs> hee. Bruce Lee, hee. <laughs> Buffy, hee. The Vampire Slayer. <laughs> Hurricane Michael, Category 3, hee <laughs> hee. Tonight on Bottom Gear, James evades police after burning down an orphanage. Tom returns back to Monkey. And I take down an undocumented immigrant. Stop there! Where are you going? To do what? To put the groceries in? I can't let a pretty girl like you take the groceries. Oh my god! This is my job in Mars, yes, of course. Yo, 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 where's the party at? Where are you going? Where's the party? Fucker! Fucker! What is this? What is this? Get out! Is this a girl? Get the hell are you? I am robot. Okay, robot, go back to outer space and get the hell out of my way. To those of you who think that it's a lip sync, how would it be a lip sync if I can just switch it mid sentence? Now, all of a sudden, I'm the doctor. There was no time, no space, no, it's just me. But yeah, I'm just, I'm just an American dude that, that, that has a weird voice. My voice box is jacked up. Talk to me, get a hot as a cool parester on again. Okay, um, yes, I can impersonate a volcano. Okay. <laughs> Hey now, get your ID. You didn't need to see my ID. Nah, we, we didn't need to see your ID. These only the bombs you're looking for. Ah, you're right. You're not the wee bombs we're looking for. We'll be half new. Aye, on you go, mate. Giza tenor. Piss off. So, if your cousin's stolen your trainers and you want to get them back, well, you come to the right people. Here's what you're going to do. Step one, you're going to plan a little vacation somewhere with a big f***ing mountain. Somewhere like Ben Nevis, which is a big old mountain somewhere in the UK. And I don't know where it is. I don't really care where it is. You're just going to have to figure that out and go there with your cousin. But you're also going to bring someone else. Your grandma. What your cousin didn't realize while stealing your trainers is that you guys share the same grandma. And that innocent little grandma you share will now become a powerful tool in your plot to return your trainers. <clears throat> you take your cousin and your nan to Ben Nevis. And when you get there, you plan a little picnic. At the peak of the mountain. Then you and your cousin are going to wheel your grandma to the very top of that mountain, pull out the picnic basket, ask your cousin to start preparing the sandwiches, and roll your grandma right to the very f***ing edge. You're going to flick down your shades, turn on your Bluetooth speaker, and sing the following. Cut my life into pieces. This is my last resort. I'll push Nan off this mountain if you don't give me my trainers. Then you're just gonna sit back and relax while your cousin gives you your trainers back, jump on the back of your nan's wheelchair and skateboard down the side of the mountain like Tony Hawk's. My trainers. So your teacher confiscated your Nintendo Switch and never gave it back. That, my friend, is theft. And at Community Patrol, we don't like theft. Step one, you're gonna shave your dad's head while he's asleep. Kinda like mine. And then you're gonna store the hair in a little jar. Step two, you're gonna thoroughly research every single one of your teacher's movements for the next five months until you locate her family. More importantly, their parents. And even more importantly, their mum. Your teacher's mum is gonna be about 60 years old. And luckily for you, according 
into my mate Dwayne, there's nothing a 60 year old woman likes more than a young bearded man. Step three, you take your dad's hair out of the jar and delicately glue it to your beard, armpit and chest until you genuinely look like a bearded young man in his early 30s. And step four, you're going to use your previous research to infiltrate her family gatherings. Now you're going to slowly begin to imitate their mannerisms, their interests. You'll even begin to look and sound like one of them until bang, you're in bed with your teacher's mother and making love to her like a bat out of hell. Yeah, yeah. Hi teacher, I mean you stepdad. Then, one night during dinner, you look at your teacher in the eye and you say, look, I'm gonna have to confiscate your Nintendo Switch and then bang! You tear off that beard and reveal your true identity. And then, you leave with your Nintendo Switch and you go home. You did it. Mum, they want ten words. Go. Socks. Simple. Smelly. Grapefruit. Water. Pills. Light. Wheels. Car. Picture. Nice, that's it, thank you. Ten words, that's absurd. I better pull my socks off and get to work. Teenage years, I never had no pimples. It was head down, lay low, simple. Now I'm loud and proud and they envy. This the horse of ours got me smelly. In a good way, no one ever lose. I don't think I've ever eaten a grapefruit. Switch the topic, any beat I can slaughter. Sweet bars on the flow like water. I'm a shining light, how do you feel? Matrix, are you going red or blue pill? Wheels in motion, raise the bar. Six years speed like a racing car. And I pick myself up when I get injured. Step back, I can see the bigger picture. Boom, let's go! <laughs> Excuse me, I, I just wonder if you can help me. My husband keeps ringing. I need to give him a message, but I, I can't hear anything. When it, could you answer and just pass a message on for me, please? Yeah. Oh, it's his wife. Hello. Could you ask him what time he's going to be home, please? If you would like to know what time you're going to be home, about an hour. Oh, could, could you tell him I will be back in an hour and I cannot wait for him to see my garden? All right. Thank she will you. also be back in about an hour. Thank you. And she can't wait for you to see her garden. Um, could you tell him that I've trimmed the bush and it's a lot tidier now? Thank you. She's trimmed the bush and it's a lot tidier now. Certainly. How has the ground been? It's been very moist. It's been very moist, apparently. Finally, one very last thing, sir. Thank you so much. Could you tell him, please, to remember to remind the neighbours... Don't forget to remind the neighbours... ..that it will get quite noisy... It will get quite noisy... ..because I'll be screaming like a bitch while he smashes me back doors in with his dirty tool. Because you'll be screaming like a bitch when you're smashing the back doors in with your dirty tool. Yes. All right? You understand? That's fine. Now, is there anything you need him to bring in? Could could he bring uh, some condoms? Could you bring some condoms? And a marrow. And a marrow. Oh, and don't forget the semi-skinned milk. And don't forget the semi-skinned milk. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye.